Back it up, back it in, let me begin. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pack it up, pack it in. What? Wow, that's embarrassing. What's up, guys? I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode of DIY in 5, we'll share some methods for backing up that iPhone photo roll of yours. If you're not the iDevice type, no worries. Don't forget to subscribe and check out how to take great pictures with all sorts of phone, camera, texting, rideshare hailing machines. Phones have now become the default camera in most of our lives. But what happens to those photos when we get a new phone? Drop it in a pool or leave it in the lift from last night. If you're an iPhone user and a Windows user, this bit is for you. First things first, grab your lightning cable and get all old school and actually plug that iPhone in. Your Photos app should automatically launch and if it doesn't, just search for it in the Start menu. Now click Import and select the photos you want to transfer. If you're looking to free up space, the Photos app will give you the option of deleting your imported photos from the phone. For all my Mac-toting friends at the coffee shop, this next method is for you. Amazingly, the Windows and Mac OS methods are almost identical. When does that ever happen? Grab your lightning cable and plug your iPhone into your Mac. If you're a 2016 or newer MacBook user, plug it into whatever hub dongle adapter thing that you're using. Once again, your Photos app should automatically launch. If it doesn't, just open it up from Launchpad or your Applications folder. When using Photos, click on Import and back up those 150 blurry pics from the last concert you were at. The Photos app also has an option to delete items after import. What about those who want to back up and don't have their notebook around? You can always use a cloud service if you happen to be on Wi-Fi, pay the monthly fee, and trust it won't get hacked. If that's not you, there are handy little USBs for your phone like this. They plug into your lightning port and back up your photos no matter where you are. So what's your go-to method for backing up photos? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn how to archive old printed photos using an iPhone, check out this video here. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, you've been watching DIY in 5, and I'll see you next time.